There's a lot of ways today to be able to look at a home online. Let's talk a little bit about some of the pros and cons about searching for homes online today. What's going on, everybody? Hunter Sumner here with Remax Advantage in Waynesboro, Virginia, coming to you today to talk a little bit about some of the pros and cons of online home shopping. Online home shopping, there are a bunch of different websites out there that are readily available for consumers to go on, browse, see what's going on in their area, and even across the world to see different properties. Again, let's talk a little bit about some of those pros and cons so you feel educated as you sit there and look at the properties. Like I already mentioned, the first big pro of online home search sites are being able to look at every property across the world. This is great if you're trying to relocate to an area that you're not too familiar with, or if you're just sitting around and wanting to do some browsing to get see what else other people are doing in the world. Being able to log on either on your cell phone or on your home computer and being able to take a look at properties literally within seconds is an amazing opportunity to do so. Even if you're not buying, using some of these home search sites can be a great resource for you as a homeowner to see what upgrades may be available for your home. If you're sitting there thinking about potentially updating your siding, updating your roof, even painting a door, you can always go on some of these search sites and see what properties are out there and to see some of the color schemes that are already going on so you can actually get a real life look at what you're thinking. This may be able to influence you one way or the other, or if you're around some of the holiday seasons, you may be able to see what other people are doing for decorations. Having all of this information online for you to go see is a great way for you as a buyer to understand the selling patterns of a specific area. Being able to quickly see homes currently for sale, homes that have recently sold, you can kind of get a good feeling of what's going on in that area. Are all the homes in that area selling and they're coming up very quickly? Or is it an area where some things are sporadic but when the house does come to the market, it goes by pretty quick? These are potentially some indicators on that neighborhood and what you may be kind of wanting to evaluate as you look at that area. Now, let's talk about some of the cons of looking at properties online. Probably the first one I'm gonna start off with is the most obvious, in my opinion, is falling in love with the pictures that you see. Photographers do an amazing job of making a house look incredible, which is great for having that home put its best foot forward. However, using wide angle lenses, HDR resolution, and even updating and cleaning up some of those images kind of maybe shifts some of the perspective on that home. It may look like that one room may be very big or very lit, but actually getting into that property with your own eyes will actually give you a great feeling for what the size of those rooms really are, how bright or how dark a room may be, and also how things kind of flow. So while the pictures are great, don't fall in love with the picture before you actually go and check that place out. Another con is unfortunately, smell of vision has not been created yet, or at least that I've seen. Going and looking at some of these pictures of homes is absolutely fantastic, but what it can't tell you is if the previous homeowner was a smoker, if there are any really strong um, animal odors within the property that may indicate a problem and maybe something wrong with the carpet or cell floor that you may have to replace. So while looking at the pictures is great, unfortunately it doesn't tell the full story of that property. So getting in there and seeing it and smelling it may be one of your best options before you do anything with that home. All right, so the last big con is you're reading the description, you're looking at the pictures, you're saying, man, I can't wait to go on this. I can't wait to buy this property. I could see myself already sitting out back, enjoying a nice cup of coffee or, or adult beverage, you know, enjoying the peace and quiet under the stars. But what you don't maybe realize is the street that's busy as can be in front of the home or the drag strip a quarter mile down the road or the neighbor's chickens that are you know going crazy all night. Being able to actually get out, check out a neighborhood, check out the neighbors of your the house that you're looking at is extremely important. While you are purchasing a, while you are looking at purchasing a home, understanding the neighborhood and the neighbors is always gonna play in a, a factor in your home buying purchase. So while it's great to see the property and things like that, make sure you, you try to get out there as much as you can. So again, that was just a quick little review of some of the pros and cons that I've seen using home search sites. While it's an amazing resource for people to get great ideas for decorations or ideas for updating their current home, looking at properties that are currently for sale in an area that you may be relocating to, or if you're like me sometimes, you just want to kind of check out what's going on and see what's 
cool and different in the home industry. Home search sites are a great way to stay up to date with some of the things going on, but my biggest recommendation is if you really are starting to look and you are starting to actually get serious about purchasing a home, reach out to a local trusted real estate agent. They're going to be able to give you the best and most up-to-date information um, to keep you guys on top of any kind of search. All right, guys, if you have any questions, reach out to me below. I'd love to have a conversation with you. If you are using a home search site, which one do you use and which why do you use it? What do you like about home search sites? What do you don't like about them? I'd love to hear about that as well. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a great rest of the day. I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.